Hey guys, how's it going? Notion Maestro here back with another video. In this video, I will be talking about the latest template that I have been working on, which is the Notion Business OS. Now, if you are a company, a business, a startup or an agency, this template is for you. I would highly recommend you purchase this template by clicking the link in the description. Now, without any further ado, I will be giving you a quick walkthrough of Notion Business OS. As you can see, once you download and duplicate this template, you should see a page that looks something like this. If I click on this template button, then I will be redirected to the template itself. As you can see, this is how it looks. Firstly, we have the quick action section. From here, you can add a new project, a new task, a new contact, or a new team, team member quickly using these automation buttons. And these uh, entries will be directly added to their respective databases. Next up, we see this navigation section. From here, you can easily navigate around different sub features of this template. Firstly, if I go to the projects section, then I will be able to see all the projects that our business is currently working on based on their status not started in progress in review completed and overview from here i can also track and manage all the projects that our business is currently working on irrespective of their status here we have the name client the project belongs to the tasks that belong to that project the status start and end date and the invoice that has been generated for this project from here you can view the kanban view and also the timeline view of this all these projects Next up, we have the tasks section. From here, you can track and manage all your tasks that come under your projects. Uh, here, you can track all your tasks based on status, not started, in progress, and review, and completed. And from this table, you can track and manage all your tasks irrespective of their status. We have the name of the task, the client, the task belongs to the project, the task belongs to the status, the estimated effort, the effort logged, the progress of the task, and the assignee the task has been assigned to which is your team member or your employee next up we have the kanban view for the tasks next up we have the clients and crm section from here you can track and manage all your clients that your business has agreed to do business with and then next up we have the contact section which can either be a lead opportunity prospect a client one or a client lost so a client is only that contact which you have one and agreed to do business with Next up, we have the finance and accounting section. From here, you can track and manage all your incomes, expenses, and invoices that you have generated for your clients. Firstly, we have the incomes overview section. From here, you can track and manage monthly incomes along with their sums and these entries for every single income. Then we have the all incomes section, the incomes that you have made this month and the incomes that you have made this year. Next up, we have the expenses overview section which looks something like this and we have the all expenses section the expenses that your business has incurred this month and the expenses that your business has incurred this year and then next up we have the invoices section from here you can generate a new invoice for a client based on their project so if i open an invoice it looks something like this which is totally customizable to your business name you can edit your company name the invoice number the date your company address your client details and the product or services that you or your company have offered to that client along with these payment details next up we have the meetings and events section from here you can track and manage all your meetings and invites uh, related to your business next up we have the business resources section from here you can track and manage all your business resources that are important and related to your business for example if i if i click on the employee onboarding document it looks something like this with all these details here you can add the employee onboarding document based on your business next up we have the customer support section from here you can track and manage all your customer support requests by status not started in progress completed and overdue and also track your customer support requests by priority low medium high and critical and then in this table we have all the customer support requests irrespective of their status and priority we have the name property the client the customer support request belongs to the project that it belongs to a little description of the request the assignee to which this support request is assigned to the created date and the due date and then we have the kanban wave as well and then finally we have the team section from here you can track and manage all your team de team member details and their basic information if i go ahead and click on this employee then i will be able to see all his details like position the compensation the years of experience joining date the projects that he has worked 
for the tasks that he has worked for and all the support requests that he is working on. Now if I go back to the home page again, I will be seeing this project section over here as well to get a quick overview of the projects along with their status directly from the home page and then the tasks overview section to get a quick overview of the tasks from the home page, a client section, the financial overview section for incomes and expenses at the home page, the support tickets by status and finally the team section directly at the home page to directly with the team details from your home page. So if you like this template and if you want to purchase this template, you can click the link in the description and purchase it from Gumroad. I would highly recommend you purchase this template if you are a business, a startup, a company or an agency because this template is worth the value and the amount of effort that I have put in. And finally, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will be making more such notion tips, tutorials and template videos. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Peace.